I'm Katie. Welcome back to my kitchen. And before we start on today's recipe, I want to ask you a few questions. When was the last time you cleaned your car? I mean, when did you take it for a car wash? And if you did, was that 10 days ago? Was it three days ago, a week ago? And if you did, like I said, did you wash it inside out or you just washed it on the outside? I mean, was it clean on the outside and on the inside? It was filthy. And if you washed it inside out, was the last time before the last time, five years ago, four years ago? Definitely not. You want a clean car inside out. Well, you're wondering why I'm saying all these things is because when we wash our body every single day, we never think about washing it on the inside, right? Well, this recipe calls for detoxing and that's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you two great recipes to clean your liver and your gallbladder. So what do you say? Let's start juicing. Okay guys, the first thing of course that we're going to need because we're juicing is a perfect juicer. Okay, we want a blender juicer for this. You can't use a blender that we, that we make smoothies. You can't use a food processor. I want you, if you don't have one now, to invest in getting a juicer because you definitely want it. Let's go over the ingredients. I want some fresh parsley, lemons, beets, carrots. That's for one of our juice. I want a shot of apple cider vinegar, three Granny Smith, only Granny Smith, one carrot, and two cucumbers. Those are the ingredients that I'm going to give you for two uh, detox, um, the detox juicing, okay? Now, what I wanted to say, the first one that we're going to make is the one with the beets. The beets with the carrots and the parsley and the lemons. This is a booster. Do not drink this after 8 o'clock because you're going to want to make a skyscraper. You're going to do this in the morning. Once you get up, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make your juice. The other one, well, we'll talk about the other one with the apples as we go on. So let's start preparing our veggies. We're going to slice them up and start putting them in our juicer. Okay, guys, if you're thinking, uh, what other vegetables can I use so I can, um, maybe you don't like beets. Well, it's too bad. You have to have beets. Beets. Is the beets are the vegetables that clean our liver. Your liver is your factory. If your factory is happy, your body's happy. Everything is working perfect, perfectly. If you do not detox your blood, well, no matter how much diet you're on, it's not going to work. You have to make your body uh, wake up. This is a wake up for your body, okay? So the first things that we're going to do, we're putting in the peel, the entire veggie. The same thing goes for the carrots and the same thing goes for our lemons. So let's get started. Big chunks like that. And we're just putting it, putting it in our bowl. Big chunks. In a juicer, you cannot put peaches, you can't put bananas, you can't put uh, melons. They have to be hard veggies or hard fruit because once you put in um, the peach, anything that's very soft, it's going to get, well, it's going to jam. It's not going to work. And now we're starting with our beets. If you're thinking, why aren't we consuming the fiber, whatever is going to be left, is it better? Well, of course it's good, but this is juicing. This juice is going to go straight to your bloodstream. You will notice that you're not, well, excuse me, but I have to say, you're not going to be peeing like when you have an orange juice in the morning and you have to go to the bathroom. This doesn't happen. This goes straight to your blood. It just uh, sucks it all up. And it does wonders for your body. You have to have this at least once a week. Don't mind that they're big. They fit perfectly inside. Maybe we'll cut one more up. And it's time for the lemons. The lemons are going to go in with the peel and the seeds. Let me tell you a secret here about the lemons and about every fruit that has seeds. Nature 
nature was meant for two things about the seeds, what we do with them. You either consume them or you plant them. You don't throw them away. So keep that in mind. They're perfect um, anti-cancerous, anti-fungal. Once you see a seed, just consume it. Eat it. Eat the pits from the apples. Eat the seeds from your, from your oranges, from your citrus. Believe me, these are things that doctors will never tell us. Okay, I've chopped up my veggies like that. And now we are ready to put it into our blender. This is going to make a little bit of noise. We're going to make one juice and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so let's get started. I'm not going to talk while it's uh, being uh, juiced, okay? I'm taking one lemon and putting it in. And I'm just going to press it down. This is what it looks like. Okay, once you drink that, you're going to feel like the Incredible Hulk. Like I said, make sure that you consume this in the morning. Beautiful. Okay, like what I said before, like I, like I said before, we're not using the pulp. When we use the pulp, we're making smoothies. That's totally different. That goes into your digestive system and it does wonders for your large intestines. And you understand exactly what I mean. This, the juicing, is therapy. We're cleansing and washing our body. So that's one juice. I'm going to clean up so we can start with our apple juice. Okay, let me show you before we get started with our, our um, apple one. Let me show you what we're going to get out of this juicer. I want to show you the fiber. This is all the fiber from the beets. And before, because you see it's full, this little bucket, we're just going to empty it out right in here. Don't throw it away. This is perfect for your compost. You're going to put it in your garden. Look at that, it's all dried up. You see that? No, there's no um, liquid in here. It's very soft and moist. This is a perfect, perfect compost. So we're putting that on the side and we're gonna continue with our apple one now. Before we start, let me tell you a few tips here. If you have issues with your gallbladder, I've had them for about two years your gallbladder is a very important organ. If you have to have surgery, definitely have to have it. Listen to your doctor and have it. But if you can stop your surgery, when you're starting to have a little bit of problems, start juicing with Granny Smith apples. I promise you, your gallstones are going to reduce in size in no time. I've been doing this for the last year. 
I have no issues with my gallbladder because if you get your gallbladder out, unfortunately, you will still have stones. But now there won't, they're, they're not going to be um, trapped in your gallbladder. They're going to go into your large intestine. And you don't want that to happen because in about 10 to 15 years, you're going to have problems with your large intestine. So start juicing, guys. It's very important at least once a week. Let's get started with our apples. Okay, we're going to put this back on, seal it nice and finely like that, and let's start chopping the Granny Smiths. You're going to consume this juice an hour before you go to bed. Quick tip here, let me tell you this, do not have a leg of lamb at 8 o'clock and french fries and hot dogs or hamburgers don't eat anything fatty go on a light diet after seven o'clock have a salad some yogurt something like that in between don't over consume yourself with a lot of fat and then you're going to have this um apple juice it's not going to work okay they're just going to mix all together and you're not going to have any results you have to diet a little just a little bit so do not eat anything after seven o'clock one hour before you go to sleep, consume your apple juice. That's the tip. Okay. So I won't waste any time. I'm going to chop all my veggies. And once they're chopped, I'm going to show you what they look like. Okay, let's start juicing the apples. This is going to make noise, so I won't be talking now, all right? your life for a healthy healthy life and believe me when you make this your body will thank you okay now this is one of my secrets apples have malactic acid which means this is going to help break down your gallstones and we're going to put a pure apple cider vinegar one shot Believe me, you won't even notice it, but this is very important. This is my secret. I've healed myself 100%. I'm not a doctor, but um, if you are ahead of time, you won't need surgery. If you're having fevers and seizures and you're throwing up, well, obviously you're going to go into surgery, but if you can avoid it, please try these recipes. They are so worth it. They're not time consuming. They're not expensive at all. So there it is, guys. This is for your night after seven, your apple, um, your apple juice, and this is your beet juice. This is gonna be consumed in the morning so you can feel beautiful, nice, and strong. You will see the results and the strength that you're gonna gain from these juices at least in 10 days, but you have to have them at least once a week. Don't go and buy your juicer, do it once or twice, and be lazy to clean it. It's nothing. It's a beautiful ritual. Please try it. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. I'm looking forward till next time because I'm going to indulge you in the perfect apple pie. So that's it, guys. Until next time, always remember, of course, Cooking brings people together. Bye.